Oh yeah, we've got problem 5-100. This is a checkpoint problem. This problem is a checkpoint problem for factoring quadratics. It will be referred to as checkpoint 5B. Remember the checkpoint problems are all uh, referred to in the back of the book. There's additional practice problems with answers included if you need to do extra practice on the skill. So, factor each expression below. Letter A, 4x squared minus 1. First thing I'm going to notice here is this is a binomial. So, some of the things I'll look for is there our greatest common factor. In this case here, the greatest common factor is 1, so we're not going to factor it out. Next thing I want to look at here is it addition or subtraction. And that's pretty obvious, it's subtraction. So I have the potential for it to be a difference of two squares. And we have 4x squared and we have 1. So this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square, which means this is going to be a difference of squares. These are what I consider to be the easy ones. If you put a little time and practice into it, you will consider them to be easy as well. So the square root of 4x squared is going to be 2x. Square root of 1 is 1. And we know the pattern with difference of squares. We should have one that has an addition and one that has subtraction. There is our answer for letter A. The quantity of 2x plus 1 times the quantity of 2x minus 1. Letter B. We have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now, with these ones here, with the 4x squared, you could take it and look at it and say, oh, well, maybe we have a greatest common factor besides 1. In this case, there's not. So that eliminates that step. It's a trinomial, so we're thinking about possibly factoring it into two binomials. I'm going to go ahead and use the generic rectangle here because I feel like a lot of people have gotten away from using it who really need to use it. So remember, we make our generic rectangle and then we make our diamond, which ends up really just being an X. First term, bottom left corner. Last term, top right corner. The product of 4x squared and 1 is going to be 4x squared. That goes in the top. And our middle term goes in the bottom. So we're looking for factors of 4x squared that have a sum of 4x. In this case, it's 2x and 2x. We plug those in here, 2x, 2x. So this is looking like it's a perfect square trinomial. What is the greatest common factor between 4x squared and 2x? Well, 2 goes into each of the numbers, and x goes into each of the variable terms here. So we're going to have 2x. 2x times what is going to give us 4x squared? Also 2x. And then 2x times what is 2x? That's going to be plus 1. And over here, we're also going to end up with plus 1. So this should end up factoring into 2x plus 1 times the quantity of 2x plus 1. Or you could also say the quantity of 2x plus 1 squared. Either of those would be acceptable answers. Moving on, letter C. I have 2y squared plus 5y plus 2. As I look at this one, I don't see any common factors besides 1, so I can't factor anything out early. I do see here it's a trinomial, and we could probably look to factor it into two binomials. So I'll do the generic rectangle one more time. 
you're not into the generic rectangle, I just hope you remember how to do it, whatever other way you're going to do it. So the first term is 2y squared. The last term is 2. We put their product in the top, so 2y squared times 2 is 4y squared. Our middle term goes in the bottom. So we say to ourselves, what are the factors of 4y squared that have a sum of 5y? That should be 4y and y. After you put the terms into the rectangle here, make sure you're careful here. What do 2 and 4 have in common? That's going to be a 2. And y squared and y have a y. So 2y times what is 2y squared? That's y. 2y times 2 gives us 4y. Then y times 1 gives us y. And 1 times 2 gives us 2. So we know we're, we're good to go from there. So we should end up with 2y plus 1 as one of our binomials. And then y plus 2 as the other. That is letter C. Last one here, let's see, we've got D, we have 3m squared minus 5m minus 2. So, is there a greatest common factor besides 1? No, there's not. We have a trinomial here, so we could go ahead here and set up our generic rectangle. Or if you're one of the people who doesn't use a generic rectangle, okay, you would think about setting up two binomials here. We know the first term only has the factors of 3m and m. And our last term, since it's 2, it's prime, we know it can either be a 2 here and a 1, or a 2 here and a 1 back here. Either way, I need to have a difference that ends up being negative 5. So if I do a 2 here, a 1 here, if I make this a negative and this one a positive, I should end up with exactly what I need. How do you check it? Multiply out your binomial and make sure you get, I'm sorry, multiply out your two binomials and make sure you get your trinomial as the product. All right, there are your answers for checkpoint problem 5-100. If you have questions, it's critical that you make sure you ask your teacher about these kinds of problems because we're not going to spend nearly as much time going over them in class anymore. That's what the whole point of the checkpoint is. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned something.